What's up, everyone? This is Offbeat Podcast, and uh, today, man, we have a special, special episode for everyone, and uh, this is for all the hat heads out there. I know there's a lot of sneaker heads out there, man, but, you know, the hat game is coming up, and uh, for me, it's an honor to be able to have this this amazing episode, and and for this person to have agreed uh, to be able to come on Offbeat Podcast, and uh, so... With any further ado, man, we got Leonardo Sandoval, yes, aka Dandy Hats, man. Dandy what's, hats, up, man? what's up, man? What's up, man? What's up? Thank you for having me here, George. I appreciate it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no worries. <laughs> yeah, man. It's a uh, it's a privilege, bro, to be able to have you here, man. And um, and Dandy Hats, man. So dandy hats. you know, uh, we got some uh, right here. If you're looking um, down right there, you might see these hats right here, man. He's the the maker. He's the creator. Yep. Creator. Of Victoria. these uh, awesome hats, man. You've probably seen them online, uh, right there on Instagram, on some of the reels. TikTok. <laughs> TikTok, right? Yeah, it's blowing up, man. And uh, I love his hats, man. I love your thank hats, you, bro. You. And uh, which is why it's kind of, you know, I've, uh, some people I know probably have seen me um, also rocking them on, on, on my offbeat episodes. And then also on even some of the content that I release on IG and stuff, man. So if you guys were like, man, that's a dope hat, well... We got the man right here, man. <laughs> All right. So so tell us, man, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, man. Uh, um, you know, where did you, where, where are you from, man? And where where did you grow up? So um, I was born here in uh, L.A., well, West Covina. I was born right there, Queen of the Valley. Um, I grew up, my, my dad wor- working, you know. My mom, she didn't work. My dad, um, when I was about eight years old, um, he bought a lunch truck. Um, okay. So I, since I was nine years old, I can remember washing um, pots, um, pelando tomatillo, um, anything that I could help him, dude. Um, yeah. I was doing when I was young. Um, I still it was pretty cool memories. Um, me and my sister Victoria, we would um, so he would park the he would park the lunch truck right there in front of a liquor store right here in La Puente, okay, on Valley. And uh, me and my sister, my him and my mom would be um, he, my mom would be cooking like he was making the tacos, and my dad would be um. Charging, and I remember me and my little sister would um, sleep on the f- on the on the floor of early, the lunch like truck early in the morning or no like late at night late like, at night yeah from six p.m. to like one or two in the morning. That's tight, man. Yeah. That's tight, man. It's crazy. So it was a uh, uh, it was a uh, uh, more like a so it just tacos or yeah tacos burritos like just like a Mexican yeah like, taco spot yeah. yeah. And where are your parents from? My my dad is from my dad was born here. Um, okay. His parents are from Jalisco and Michoacan. Okay. And my mom was born in Mexico, which uh, she's uh, Jal- Jalisciense. She was okay. Mexico, yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, you got Jalisco, Michoacan. Michoacan, yeah. Zacatecas. My grandpa was born in Zacatecas. Yeah. Yeah. All that, Very man. Cool. Ahí yeah. por la, ahí donde se dice la, ahí la panza de México. Yeah, right, right there. Right there, man. So, mm-hmm. my family, too. Michoacan, Durango, man. So, okay. shout out to everyone from uh, from out there that he, that's listening to us, man. And um, how was it growing up, though? How was it? Uh, right there in Cabina, man. What was the, what was the uh, culture? What was the? Because how old are you now? I'm 28. 28. Okay. Yeah, 28. Yeah. So how was that growing up there in that in the being Mexican? I mean, your dad was already born here, but yeah. How was that growing up? I mean, it was pretty cool. I mean, um, have a lot of good memories. I would play football, flag football. Okay. So All right. For the school or, or uh, for uh, school outside and outside. All right. Um, but yeah, I remember it was it was pretty cool, man. I mean, it was. It was normal, I guess you can say it was normal. It was yeah. nothing, nothing biggie. Uh, thanks to my dad, he worked hard to um, give me a good, you know, childhood. You know, yeah. not worry about so many things. Um, so I grew up pretty. I've been blessed my whole life, man. Yeah. You know, I yeah. mean, I don't know why, but I just been very blessed my whole life. That's what's so, up, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and 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 it sounds like uh, they they taught you some good values. Would you yeah. say? Yeah. yeah what yeah, did I you can. What do you feel you learned the most about your parents? Um, I feel like well. My mom, at least my mom, she's very, like, heartwarming, like, very, like, she's, like, very scared, like, um, how can I, like, she's not, like, the person to be, like, oh, I'm going to try this, or, uh, no, sorry, she's not, like, the type of person to be, like, um, like, she's very reserved, like, and, like, whatever looks bad, she's not going to do, not even to try or anything like that, so, uh, and she's very, like, um, es medosa, I'm, I'm very medoso, too, like, you know, I, I've never smoked weed. I never done drugs. I yeah. never 
done none of that because I feel like I get that from my mom because she's always like yeah. very mediosa, like yeah, es cuidadosa, cuidadosa, pues, yeah, o sea, you know? la piensa, she, la she piensa, thinks yeah. about it, yeah. And then with my dad, well, I just feel like the um, just that business mentality. Yeah, I mean, he's he's been his own boss since I was what, like ten, nine years old. Yeah, and well, I've I've grew I grown up with him. I grown up not being a boss, but always being in charge of something. You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah, and that do, and that really does do something to to. I, I believe that that yeah. really does do something when you when you grow up in an environment of you know when you see a uh, hustle you know in your parents you see an an entrepreneurship you know spirit in them you see that you know they're that willing to do whatever it takes attitude. Yeah. I really do believe it does do something to to the children. You know what I mean? And it seems like that. You really got that. Do you think you um, that helps you even now? Like, uh, you know, seeing that in your parents, seeing that in your dad. Yeah. You're like, man, you know what? Like, I'm glad I got to see that. Yeah. I mean, even better that um, I got to see that. I mean, I don't want to work as hard as my dad because my dad works hard. He works That's hard work every day. I mean, well, not every day. You know, Sundays has off, but sometimes he works all day from yeah. eight to, to close. And like, yeah. I would have like when I was young, even till today, I, I look at him like, man, I don't want to work that much. You know, I don't <laughs> yeah. I don't want to. You yeah. know, it's also good in a good way. In a good way, like yeah. I don't, I don't want to be, you know, doing that all the time. So yeah. I'm very blessed to now just be kind of chilling yeah. most of the month and you know working yeah. at home from bed. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, and that's one of the cool things, man. That you know, it like it's something we had to see. Like our parents, tenían que luchar. Like yeah. they had to, they had to uh, work their butts off. They had to hustle. They had to grind. You know, my dad too. He would work six, seven days a week. You know, sometimes 12, sometimes more hours, you know, and he would from sun up to sundown, you know, and uh, I always saw that, too. I'd be like, man, you know what I want to. And I, I remember hearing one time, man, it's 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 about working smarter, not harder. Yeah. yeah. You know, and um, but but it's good that we we're able to see that, though, like from yeah. someone we, we somebody was able to model that for us and say, man, you know what, though, like they were able to open up that way of like, man, you know what? It's hard work. So that way. Whatever you end up doing in life, whether it's a career, whether it's a job or a business, man, you know what? Um, you know, you can understand that I had to work hard because a restaurant business, bro, like, That's it's nice, no man. joke, man. Like, I, mean, I was I was working there till I was 26. Man, yeah, yeah, so I was making tacos right there. You know, I was doing everything. and I. That's, that's I, work. Yeah, it's, I, I didn't like it at all. I, 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 I could say I hate it. I could say I hate it just maybe because I started when I was young in the yeah. I don't know. I just I just didn't like it no more. It, it was I was making tacos and like, I mean, you know, there's nothing wrong with making tacos, but you know, people think they're better than you. You know, they yeah. they'll, they'll me and pues, you know. Sí, sí. I would have people go in there and like just talk to me like a like a like a way that I didn't like to be talked to because I'm yeah. like you know I don't I feel like I don't I'm not that I'm better than this, but like, um, you, you know, you deserve. I know I deserve better. Like yeah. I, I, you know what I mean? Like, um, so. I would I would just get like to the point where I was just like man I don't want to be here no more like yeah. you know ya me molestaba la gente that would because I mean I mean I, mean, I am humble right I, I will humble myself down but it got to the yeah. point where I was just like I I wasn't happy with myself yeah. at the time so I was like yo I was already getting I was already getting like angry at myself because I'm like dude what are you doing like yeah you didn't do this for the rest of your life yeah. or what uh, yeah. you know what I mean like and I was like, you know what, I, I can't no more. So yeah. I just started. I started trying yeah. to do better, you know. <laughs> yeah, man, that's a that's a that's a good lesson to. Uh, let's pause on that a little bit because that's a good lesson, man. That sometimes we we could feel bad about thinking that, man, you know what, like I I do deserve better. You know, sometimes we do have a mentality where like, no, 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 agradece que tienes el jale. Yeah. You know, agradece que tienes el trabajo. You know, be grateful. You know, just be quiet. You know, don't think anything. Just do what you got to do. Yeah. And and there's nothing wrong with that mentality because I believe that a lot of our parents, especially those that, you know, came from Mexico, you know, they were, they did have that mentality where like, man, I'm, hey, if this job is, man, it's providing for me. It's it's allowing me to save up money. It's allowing me to send money to, to Mexico. You know, it's allowing me to do what I have to do. It, we're, I'm better off than what I was over there. You know what I mean? And they and they had to, like, endure all that stuff. They had to, you know, because they wanted, querían salir adelante. Yeah. You know, but the truth is, man, that it's it's okay to have that mentality that, you know what, maybe there is something better for me out there. You know, if you're not happy doing something that you're doing right now, 
that it's okay. You know, también no la brava, you know, just yeah. to say like, hey, you know what I mean? Like, forget this. And you start mistreating people. Like you said, yeah. you still kept that humbleness where it's like, no, 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 I have to do what I got to do. You probably thought, no, this is my dad's business. I got to take care of his customers. But deep inside you, you said, man, you know what? I, 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 I believe, I feel that I, I am destined for more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. And so feeling that, man, and, and, and having that right there, um, you know, working right there with your dad and, you know, cooking the tacos, the burritos and everything, um, you know, it taught you, you know, like you mentioned, it, it taught you that value of hard work. And looking back, you know what I mean, growing up, you know, is there anything that you say, man, um, you know, I wish I would have done more of this. Is there anything that you look back on and you say, man, you know what, I, I wish I would have focused more on this or that? I mean, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things that I can go back and and say, like, I should have done this. But, I mean, I'm just grateful for that where I am now, you know, because maybe yeah. if I didn't go through all that, maybe if I didn't mess up those ways, maybe I wouldn't be here right now, you know, yeah. so... I would I would probably wouldn't go back and change anything. I would just probably go back and relive something, you know, twice. <laughs> yeah. Instead of going back, you know. But um, I mean, everything happens for a reason, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? You have to go through the through the lows so you can um, appreciate the highs yeah. and like, yeah, man. I just feel like you know I've been like I said I'm just all all the time, bro. I feel like I'm very blessed. I wouldn't call it luck, you know, because I did, you know, I I did work yeah. a normal job. Um. After the job, I would go do my side hustle, which yeah. were my hats. Um, I would do, I would do, I came, I wouldn't, I came from the bottom, right? Because once I, once I left working with my dad, I had, I had no money saved up. I never had money yeah. saved up because I would always waste it. Yeah. He would pay me good, but I always have a nice car. I would like dressing nice. So the lifestyle I had wasn't like, like it wouldn't let me, it would let me do what I wanted to, but it would never let me have money like on the side to like, and have money saved up yeah. or have money in the bank. I don't think I've ever had like. Yeah. At the time, I don't think I ha ever had like six thousand dollars in my bank account, and yeah. not at all, dude. Yeah. So I was just living like, it was. I was living, what I could like, a, not a, a fantasy probably, or I was just living like yeah. paycheck to paycheck, doing what I want, you know. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and I, I'm glad you bring that up, man, yeah. because that's something that I always try to, <laughs> you know, I always try to. Um, I love I love sharing you know knowledge experience yeah. with people, man, and. And that's one of the things that every time I get an opportunity to sit down with like a young man, you know, in, in his 20s or something. I'm 36 now. Okay. And so every time I, 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 that's one of the things I always try to encourage him because sometimes people can feel like, man, what's what's my purpose? Man, like what, what am I really passionate for? What am I doing? And, you know, maybe they can find themselves working at a warehouse job or finding themselves at a retail store, you know, whatever, you know, there's, or at, at a good career even. You know, but sometimes they can feel that frustration of like, man, what am I doing? And I'm glad that you bring that point up about that, man. I was making good money, but I really wasn't, you know, I didn't really have that part of me, that discipline, that financial yeah. discipline together. Because that's one of the things I always tell young men. I'm like, look, like, even if you don't know what to do at, the, at right now, maybe you don't know what you're passionate for. But you know what? Like, if there's something that I could go back and do it would be that is like stack up my money, yeah. you know, stack up my money, you know, because you don't need to be passionate to buy real estate. You mm -hmm. know, you don't need to be passionate to, you know, save up to, you know, to start up a business. You know, you don't need to, you know, you really don't need the feelings to do any of that. All you need is to have the resources. Yeah. So the sooner you have the resources, you know, the sooner you can fund when that day comes with when you do have the dream. Do you agree yeah. with that? I agree with that. I mean, look, man, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, yeah, yeah, like, you know, I, I save money, blah, blah, like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm still, like, I'm still wasting money, you know, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, but, um, I've, I have, I have gotten better at, you know, managing it. Um, I could say, um, you know, I do have some, I have money saved up because, um, how, how can I say this? It's just, it's just. More money that I could ever imagine me making, you know. What yeah. I mean? it, it goes to it goes to that. Like, it's just like so. It's just like oh my god. Like now I have, now e like even if I like, I, like I just save because it's just you know just the the brand is so high, dude. That it's yeah. like I don't I don't have um how can I say it? I don't want to sound like not humble or nothing like that. No, but no, like, say it, say but, it. <laughs> but it just to me is like I don't have I don't have like 
to waste the money that fast, I can't. You know, I, yeah. I can't waste it that fast. Yeah. I'm, but I'm like I said, I'm still trying to. You know, I've hired accountants. I have yeah. bookkeeping because I'm I, I, at at the moment I was making so much money that I was wasting so much money of it. You know yeah. what I mean? So I was like, you know what? You know, I have, como entraba, salía. But not even like that. Entraba mucho y salía uh, like. You know, not even, no salía todo, but sí salía, like, a good a good chunk of it, yeah. you know what I mean? So, um, I was, like, it got to the point, I was, like, nah, dude, like, you're wasting too much money yeah. to the point that you're just, like, you know, um, you know, you, you can't, you have to, you know, you have to, like, you know, chill out and, <laughs> and, and, and take your time, you yeah. know what I mean? So, I mean, last year was, you know, was very cool for me. Like, I'd done a lot of things that I wished I could have done, you know what I mean? I did everything. I bought everything I wanted. So now, like, there's really nothing that I want no more, you know? There's yeah. nothing really that I could be like, oh, I want. You got you got that. I got that, that, yeah, I got got that, that out of your me. system. Yeah. And that's good, Mac. And sometimes you need to do that. Yeah. You know, I I follow a lot of people that give good financial advice. And, and I even follow, like, um, uh, Dave Ramsey. I'm sure you've heard of Dave yeah. Ramsey. Like, he's a very conservative money guy. Very yeah. conservative. But there's a lot of things I don't agree with, you yeah. know what I mean? Because his way is, like, too conservative. Yeah. And to where it's like, yeah, but you know what? It's... Sometimes you want to live a little bit. Sometimes you want to buy something that maybe you you've desired for a while, yeah. you know, and and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but but I'm glad that we got to kind of touch on yeah. that because I know that there's a lot of viewers, a lot of people that are going to be watching this that that can that can use that, you know, because it it's sometimes man, like I really feel that that's the difference between people who go after their dreams sometimes. It really is. It's the capital. You know, like, do they have the money to go after it? You know, like, or an opportunity comes. Maybe their buddy, their friend or something is saying, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm starting this. I'm doing this, man. You know, you want to go in on it. But because they haven't prepared themselves, they haven't taken those steps to actually be, be conservative in those, discipline in those yeah. areas where, yeah, you know what, I'm going to stack up, you know, two, three. Because there's people that make good money out there, man, you know, and, you know, but como dices, like, así como entra, like, sometimes but it like, just... like, my goal, do this too. Like, I always, like, I mean, my parents, right? I don't have a house yet, right? Um, but what I tell everyone is, like, like, I want to, like, I want to get a new car ready, you know? I, yeah. I want, I want to be able, to, I want to work hard enough to the point where I can do whatever I want at any time I want. There you go. You know what I mean? So that's, that's, I don't want to be like, oh, I can't get this car because I can get the house. No, I want to yeah. be able to get the house and get the car at the yeah. same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, me, for me, like, I, I don't see that impossible. You know, yeah. I, I'm work, I'm striving towards that goal yeah. of mine that, you know, if opportunity comes up, I can, all right, I'll get it. Yeah. I'll get the car, too. I can get, I can do whatever yeah. I want Yeah. because I'm working hard. And that's, like, my goal. My yeah. goal is to, to, like, I mean, everybody, like, yeah, like, you know, do this, do that, do this. You know, don't do this because then you can't do yeah. that. And my mentality is, like, nah, I don't. I want to do the I want to do the the three things I want to do at the same time. I want to make three big purchases at the same <laughs> yeah. time, and then not and then not worry me, you know. So that's yeah. that's the type of go, that's the goal I want, you that's know. Good. Just yeah. just to, I mean, it's you know the people I talk to, kind of see like, like I mean because they they don't they don't see they only like what I see is like people can only see to right here, yeah. And like I'm seeing, over and beyond, you know. Who would have yeah. thought this guy making hats would. You know, pop off and you yeah. know, be living his dreams of just making some hats, dude. Like it's it's impossible. Yeah. Already that it's already kind of unbelievable. Yeah. So what that is already like, you know, it's anything is possible. You know, so like my mom tell me, oh, like mijo, like you know, buy a house. Dude, I want to, dude, I want to live in an apartment in a high rise penthouse, windows all over me. Like that's what I want, bro. <laughs> like that's what I want. Yeah. That's what I want. That's yeah. that. I can close my eyes and. And and picture myself there. Like a house is cool. You know, I'll buy a house. Yeah. I'll just buy a house just to buy a house, just to say oh, I got a house. Because I'm guessing now it's you made it. You made it. You like that's the dream nowadays. That if you buy a house, you're set. Yeah. Like that's that's something for I feel like the Hispanic families that if you buy a house, yeah, you it's, automatically it's, like you're yeah. you're good and you have you know you worry about that. It's not even like that. Man. Like yeah. I, like it's for you've me, seen you've seen beyond. Like yeah. you're, you're seeing beyond and that and. And I think that because you've seen uh, the the track record of like, man, you know what? Si se puede. It is possible. And not just possible to get there, but there's even a beyond limit. Yeah. You know, and if not even that, there is no limit. You yeah, know what I mean? There is no limit. And so tell me a little bit, man, because people might be hearing that and be like, well, what, what, you know, I, I get it. Like he makes hats and all this. But tell us a little bit and tell people, how did Dandy Hats come about? When did you when did you first start, you know what I mean, like this this vision, this this passion to say, man, you know what? I'm going to make hats. All right. So I think it was like 2014. 
I was um I was working at U uh, USPS. I was a okay. mailman. All right. Right. So I remember I would wake up. And I you would, were how old at that time? I was like, like 22, 23. Okay. So like 21, 22. I'm not sure. Um, but so I would wake up. I hated that job too, man. I just hated it too. Um, and at the time, my, my cousins, my cousins knew some guy that would make, ma- knew some guy that made hats. He was he was starting to pop off a little bit, you know, being a little bit um. Like a little famous, right? Yeah. So I remember that um, people would ask me, hey, you know that guy? I'd be like, yeah. So just knowing that guy would make me cool, kind of like a thing like that. Yeah. So I remember I would go to like a part with my family parties and that guy would roll up. He was driving a nice Benz. He was dressed nice. Everyone wanted to hang out with him. Everyone wanted to, hey, come over here, take a yeah. shot with me, blah, blah. And I was like, damn, that's pretty cool, man. Like I wish, you know, my my mentality back then was like, I want that, you know, yeah. I want I want that type of like love from people. I want to yeah. go somewhere and people recognize me. And I was like, and what does he do? He just sells hats. I'm like, all right, I'm just going to, I'm going to see what I can do. Yeah. And then, yeah, I just started, I started designing. I made a Jalisco hat with that had a J-A-L and then had like a Mexican bandera in the bottom. So um, I did that. And then just kind of from there, just kind of, just that, that's the reason why I made dandy hats. Yeah. Because so of that. that just kind of, it just... Yeah, and <laughs> talk a little bit about yeah. that because some people might be like, "Was that? Is that?" Some people might find that like, "Man, is that really the reason why he started?" Hat? That 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 was re- <laughs> that was really the reason, dude, because yeah. I wanted it to be known. And That's I it. love that honesty. Yeah. I love that honesty, man, about it because it's like some people might be like, "No, it's because you know, like I had a." I had a dream or I had a nah. vision or I had a, you know what I mean? Like you know, I wanted to. No, but you're being honest, you know, and I think that. That also shows, man, that, again, like, sometimes it's it's thinking out of the box, you know what I mean? And sometimes we feel that we can only start something if it's, you know, it, it has to make sense. But sometimes, like, in this, like, no, I mean, you, you're being honest, you're being real, you're being organic about it, and you're saying, man, the truth is, man, hey, I saw this, <laughs> it looked appealing to me, yeah. and I was like, man, I, I wanted something like that. Yeah, you I, mean, it's, I mean, I saw, it's like everything right now, you see a... A guy with a nice car, like, what does he do? You yeah. know, I want to, I want to get that too. Or he right. dressed him nice, or he's done. What does he do? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, and it just, it just went off from there, honestly. Yeah, and then, um, so that's when, so, so how did that, how did, so you designed that hat, and then the hat, did you design it yourself? Was that something you designed? Yeah, so I would go on Google. I still do this to this day. So I would go on Google, type in whatever I wanted, Jalisco, and I would just go through designs. I mean, I would just go through Google and see what I liked. Yeah. <clears throat> and then why I found that one, I saw the JL at, at the time. It, people, uh, it was like a cartel de Sinaloa. It was CDS, and it had the Mexico. Like, it was just green, white, and red, just yeah. like a line. And I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. What if I just, instead of doing CDS, which is cartel de Sinaloa, yeah. why don't I just put JAL for it to stand for Jalisco? Jalisco, yeah. And then just put in the back Jalisco. And, yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. Let's just yeah. do it. So then at the time, I remember that when I really started I would tell my friends, hey, he used his hat, um, post it, like, post it up on your Instagram, like, yeah. if you bought it. So I would give it to all my friends, yeah. post it up, and then little by little, just, hey, I want a hat. Hey, okay, cool. So I remember at the time, I would, um, dude, I would drive, like, 40 minutes to drop off one hat. Oh, two so hats. you would, you would ha- you hand deliver yeah, these I would hats? Yeah, ha- I would hand deliver them at, in the beginning. Let's go. And, um. Yeah, I just kind of like I, I did all I did all the I did all the dirty work to be where I'm at. You know, yeah. I, mean, I did every I did everything. I didn't just pop off out of nothing. Yeah. You know, I did I did I would you know drop off hats. I would people would come pull up to my house to pick up the hats. I would sell them online. I would do pop ups. I would do giveaways. I would do everything you yeah. can think of. I did it to be yeah. in the position I'm at. You know, because I feel like right now people think it's easy. Just I'm just gonna do this. I'm a, yeah. I see dandy hats. You know, probably they see like probably how I. Probably how they see me now is how I saw that guy. Yeah. At, at the at the at the point where I wanted yeah. to, you know. But the only difference was that you saw it, you said I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do something. I'm gonna about actually it. do it. But but then also like I mean it wasn't all like oh my god it was from there it started off now so yeah. I would you know I I finally was selling I was starting to sell you know good amounts of hats to the point where I stopped working with my dad for like three four months so um, I got to the point where people were buying my hats like from stores I got a. Shout out to Denim Exchange and Downey. They bought um, like 144 hats. Oh, wow. And I, I made like about 
five thousand dollars i was like i was like what the heck like this is so cool like and from there it kind of popped off to people started noticing me blah blah so it got to the point where i was making like all right money like it wasn't like it was a little it was a little bit but for me it was a lot because like damn like i'm making money off of this like this is dope so um to the point where i started meeting a lot of new people a lot of people started you know noticing me blah blah all that stuff and to the point where i would go all the time spend all the money um at the time I was making the hats here, the guy would front them to me okay. and then I would sell them. But it got to the point where I got, I, I wouldn't say I got like big headed, but I started just giving hats away for free just to, just to be cool. Right. Because I mean, at the time, or I pretty sure still today, like, you know, if, if you go to a party and someone asks you for a hat, oh, you have hats. Yeah. People expect it for free. You know what I mean? Or people always expect stuff for free. And yeah. at the time, para no quedar mal. I would give them out for free. You know, I wouldn't say no. Like, hey, give me a hat. All right, here you go. Or even me just to like, just to be cool. Like, oh, here's a hat, you know, for free. It's cool. You don't have to pay me. So it got to the point where I was giving away so many hats that I ran out of hats and I still owed the guy. You know what I mean? So I I completely stopped. Like, I would just shut off. Okay, like, I can't do it no more. And then per se, then uh, six, four months, five months would go by. I was um, get a little bit of money. I would pay the guy and I'll be, okay, make me another run. But ever ever since it went like it was high and then it went low, I kind of like stood there the whole time. Like I would go a little bit up, but then I'm like, nah, I no, would go down. Yeah. Because I mean, it was a lot of things. I was in different relationships at the time, um, you know, that would have let me focus on my business. Just yeah. me being dumb when I was young. Um, so I feel like all that had to do with me not be able to um, grow, you yeah. know, grow. Because I was I was always worried about, you know, dumb stuff. I was worried about um, what's going on with at the time my girlfriend or whatever um it was that took a lot of um like attention for me that yeah. i could have used somewhere else you know what i mean yeah so um so that's something very that was something that you know held me back a lot not because of her but myself i held i held down yeah. myself more because it was my decision where to do that right, right. so um so it, it just kept going up and down up and down until so that was what like 2017 2018 and every every black friday i would try to release some hats and i would sell them but then everything every time bro it would just like i would just fall off like again like, oh, yeah right, cool. like, i would just fall off blah, blah, blah. so to the point where i got to the point where it was i think 2021 like i think it was august so i was like you know what like i'm just gonna try something new i see everyone wearing like um jordans now you yeah. know it's, it's more people mexican people are starting to just more street wear you yeah. know like that yeah. so i was like what can i do to um you know, no one's doing these type of hats, you know, and I would see like, I, I like, I like dressing like streetwear, bro. I've always like, I, I never liked dressing like Buchon, but I would dress Buchon because I was in the mix, right? I was right, there. Right. So if I would dress it the other way, I'd be like, who's this guy, you know? Yeah. So I would dress that way. So once it became like, like, okay, you can dress this way now, which is cool, is normal. Yeah. Then I started dressing that way. So I was like, I started wearing Jordans and stuff like that. So the point where like, man, dude, I like, I want to make a hat that goes with an outfit. You yeah. know what I mean? So at the time, there's some brand called Kill the Hype that's very big, very, very big. And what he does, he flips the logos upside down. I don't know if you're like the L.A. logo yeah, flipped yeah. upside down. Mm-hmm. So um, all credits to him. I mean, I don't like to take credits from no one. but So I was like, man, what if I do that? But like with the Mexico teams, you know, yeah. and just switch them up a little bit. You know, right now that it's right now that it's not like, you know, it's not like right now you can get a design and just mix it up and it still looks cool. Like people yeah. are not going to be like, hey, you're copying or blah, blah. Like it's already to the point where. Like, we're living in a new generation that, you know, is yeah. like, oh, that's cool. You know, you're making it to your own. So, um, I saw that guy. I'm like, damn, you know, what if I just flip the logos for the Mexican teams? Yeah. You know what I mean? And, all right, cool. So, I did it. And people, like, it just it just kind of took off it from took there, off, bro. Yeah. It took off and making TikToks. And I was, a, I was the first person to actually, like, hit that type of niche. So, it kind of blew me up very, very quick. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what I was going to say, man, is that you, it really seemed like, you know, Cause you say, you know, you talk about your journey that it was like an up, it felt like an up and down, you know, and, and maybe you even feel like there were some things that lacked personally from you, you yeah. know, and, and you, like you said, you take full responsibility, which yeah. is good because that's what it takes. You know, it takes us being able to realize, man, you know what? I, I can't blame the relationship or I can't blame this. I can't at the end of the day, like, man, you know what? I, I lack focus. I lack whatever. But at the same time, you know, like we talked about earlier, is that everything really does happen for a reason because, you know, like that niche really opened up for you because it's true, man. Like, um, 
you know, as the, the, the culture and the style started to change, you know, and I think a lot of it was too, because, you know, the new corridos, the new style that's coming out, it's becoming different. Like, you know, where that Mexi Mexican American culture is, because there was that one time, and I'm going to kind of go back a little bit where, because styles always have changed, yeah, you yeah. know? And um, I remember, you know, there was a time where, because I love this style of hats. Okay. You know, I love this style, man. Like, I've always loved this style of hats. Um, like, the you know, bend down, you know, and, um, you know, with a nice logo and stuff. I've never been, like, a baseball cap guy. Okay. Like, you know, like the... The fitteds? The, the yeah. fitteds. I, 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 I don't know. Like, I feel like my head is... It's kind of small. Yeah. So like when I lengua y like all big, like it just kind of, I was like, man, I never, so I would just wear them to work out and stuff like that. But I've always wanted like, you know, and then the dad style hats, they're cool, yeah, yeah. you know, but they're like real flimsy. It's like, nah, I want something that, because I remember I, I lived in Mexico for two years. I lived in okay. Michoacan. And so when I was over there, like the style, like a lot of people see the, um, I always reference the photo of like, you seen that famous photo del Mayo Zambada? You know, where he has that normal yeah, hat. Yeah, yeah, Okay. Well, they, that style of hat, you know what I mean? That's, that was typical. Yeah, yeah. Like, allá in Mexico, back in the 2000s and stuff, that was just a real typical bent down style and stuff like that. Leather hat, that, right? Yeah, like, leather like hat. Or, or just a normal hat. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just a normal, pero doblada, yeah, yeah. like this. You know, that was, that was the real typical style. Well, I remember when I came back, I came back when I was like 15 years old. And when I came back, like, well, that's how I wore my hats. And, but it wasn't, it wasn't the same, bro. You know, I would be, I would get made fun of like my homies back then, you know what I mean? Like they were all into, into like the gangs and, you know, um, you know, the gang culture heavily. So they would tell me, hey, man, you look all, you look paisa, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, why is your hat like that? Or, yeah. you know what I mean? Or do, you know, I'd be like, well, that's, that's all it is. You know what I mean? But I, I, I say that to the point where it's like, because culture has evolved so much that it worked in your favor, yeah. you know, that it really has to where, like me, I'm, I don't want a fitted hat. I yeah. want a hat like this. And there's a lot of people that, you know, aren't affiliated, like the hat that you said that you found with Jalisco uh, um, or a hat that the CDS, you know what yeah. I mean? But you say, man, you know, I don't want to put that, I want to give it a new twist. Because there's a lot of people out there that say, man, I like those hats, but I don't want to wear something that's affiliated with the wrong thing. Yeah, yeah. But I want something that I can identify with, you know? Yeah. So you have, like, these people from Jalisco, from Michoacan. You know, when I saw the aguacate, you know what I mean, on the hat, I was like, I, I was like, heck yeah, like, I want something like that. Yeah. Why? Because I want to represent my culture. I want to yeah. represent my, you know, mi estado. You know what I mean? And so, you know, so you really, it really truly did work in your favor, bro. You yeah, know what I mean? And, and that's, and everything really does happen for a reason, man. And, and that's why I do congratulate you for that because... Dude, honestly, you saw something, and that's what it's all about, you know what I mean? And I'm glad that it's, and I'm happy that it's been so accepting, you know what I mean? Because like I said, there back then, you know, years ago, there was a lot of division within cultures. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, no, si eres, si eres, uh, si eres Chicano, si eres Americano, eres, eres Chicano, eres Americano, no, yeah. eres Mexicano. Y, yeah, yeah. Si los Mexicanos, like, igual, you know, there was always that, there was always that tension, you know what I mean? Like, where... But now it's like, no, 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 like you can, no, I can, I can wear a dope hat. You know what I mean? I can wear my Jordans. Yeah. You know what I mean? If I want to, or with some boots or whatever, you know yeah. what I mean? Like I'll rock that with my boots. You okay. know what I mean? Like, you yeah, know, yeah. and it's like, you know, however it is, but you know, we can represent who we are. We can represent the new culture and, and what this culture, la, la cultura mexicana, what it's evolved to. Yeah. You know, that's what I love so much about it. Yeah, so I mean it's it's you know, it's very cool, you know, it's very cool that, you know, I did all these all these like logos that I mean I got um people people like, Oh, you copied, blah blah but it's just like, you know, I, I um I got ins I get inspired by a lot of things, bro. So yeah. like if you can see like all my designs are inspired by something that I like, but I just put my own twist to them. Yeah. Right? So I feel like, you know, I, 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 I don't get a lot of hate of it, but the more the more I grow the more you know, people's opinions come like, hey, you're yeah. doing this. Hey, you're copying this. Hey, you're doing this. I'm just like, I'm like, dude, it's just I'm doing what I like. You know what yeah. I mean? And it's, and it's for me, it's working. I mean, maybe they're just mad that they didn't do it themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. To the point. But I have like right now, I feel like I started a trend doing stuff like this, like like the baseball stuff. and stuff. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot of people like doing it, like yeah. doing like trying or copying me, you know, just just like um, changing it up Giving a little a bit. Twist, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just like, oh, well, I mean, you can't get mad, right? You can't get mad because you got it. You got it yeah. from, you got it also. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's all, it's all good. You know, it's all good. But, um, like I said, um, 
all the all the you know i get inspired i'm not gonna take full credit for what i do you know i just get yeah. inspired and if i like it i just put on a hat i look at a lot of brands i study a lot of brands just like Louis Vuitton, balenciaga everybody everybody copies off each other yeah. when the trend starts they do this they yeah. do that so the people that don't understand are the people that are not really in the business you know what i mean yeah of it exactly so, I mean, yeah. yeah it's like that movie uh i don't know if you've ever watched this a random plug-in but have you ever watched that movie the devil wears prada no, I've never watched. Uh, it. Yeah, I watch. Oh, you got you got to watch. There's a okay. scene in there where it because it talks. It's about the fashion industry, yeah. and so there's a scene in there where you know se le pone bien bien brava on one of the assistants, and yeah. and she tells her that she's like, you know that about her a sweater that she was wearing, yeah. you know, because she was laughing about. She's like, I think they were like, uh, they had belts, and they're like, mm, I don't know which belt to choose. Okay, and then she laughed. She giggled because she's like, well, they look the same, and so she gives her this whole rundown, this whole speech, like. Yeah. Like, oh, you think it's the same, but she talks about exactly but, what yeah. you're saying. The the fashion industry, like, you think it's the same, but in reality, you have no idea that even what you're wearing, it started somewhere. Yeah. And eventually, it evolved into what it is. Yeah. You know, and, and how do you deal with that, like, with, with that type of hate? I mean, I mean, right now, I just posted up a, a, a picture of this hat right here. Yeah, yeah. It has, that, like, the yeah. LV print and stuff like yeah. that, you know, which I got. Which um, was inspired. I also saw the guy kill the hype. I saw him make the hat. I'm like, yeah, that's dope. What if I just, you know, do it just to do, do the DH, but with my logo and just change up the front. And, you know, people, you know, people are like, oh, that's already burned out, blah, blah, and stuff like that. But I mean, it, 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 it doesn't get to me. Like, I'm trying uh, this yeah. year. My goal was, you know, I get very butthurt because, you know, I don't get that much hate. You know what I mean? I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't get, I would normally get nothing but praise and love. Yeah. But, um. You know, it just it, it kind of like ah oh, damn, like it just kind of makes me feel like what, well, like for real? am yeah. I really am I really like yeah. m like copying? But I feel like nah, like I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see it as copying. I'm just yeah. getting like at, look, I'm giving I give credit to where it's due. Cool, right. you know, that guy saw it from Louis Vuitton because Louis Vuitton has a hat like this, right? Right, so he got his. So like, cool, that's dope. You know, okay, I want to do this. I'm gonna, I want to, I want to just do it with my twist. Yeah, same thing, and then just change up the front, the front of the hat, which yeah. is the front of the hat is. Something mine, it's um, but uh, has rhinestone. It's in yeah. LA, you know what I mean. So I just felt like oh, it's cool. But I mean, people and I just like people are just. I feel like people are always just gonna like either they're gonna talk crap because they don't like it. And it's fine. Yeah. Not everyone likes it. I understand yeah. that not everyone's gonna like my like yeah. that. For me, doesn't matter. Yeah. Like okay, you don't like it. That's cool. Yeah. These two thousand people that bought it liked it, so I'm not really worried about. Yeah. It. Maybe you like another. You know, maybe you like another um, hat that I have. So. This brand is not for everyone. It's for yeah. a specific niche that I have. So that's why it's been going so good because yeah. I, I focus on one type of person and yeah. the people that, you know, for, these designs are new to people. Yeah. They're new to people that have never seen it. Yeah. Right. So, you know what I mean? So it's like, you can't, you can't get mad at me for that. You can't, you know, I, I would understand if I'm copying exactly what he's doing, like copying. Okay. Look, we're going to do the same thing, same thing, same thing. I would understand, but yeah, you know, everyone gets influenced by different people. And like, I try to do. I try to look at a lot of brands and try to make into one into yeah. me. You know what I mean? So yeah, and that's and that's what it's about, man. And I'm and I love how how humble you are about talking about that. That you know you're like, no, I'm like I'm not trying to take all the credit. You know what I mean? Because you know, be going kind of going back to that because I think a lot of people don't. A lot of people will never understand the context of what we're doing. You know, like a lot of times, man, people will, for whatever reason, man, they feel like they had to spread the hate. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? But like you said, I'm the same way sometimes. I'm like, sometimes I'm like, man, like, did they really have to say that? Or like, you know, a bad comment comes on or, you know, a bad message. And I'm like, bro, like, what's up? You know? No, and it's not even a message. Sometimes yeah. like, it would be cool if they do a message. Sometimes it's like through the comments, you know what I mean? And it's yeah, like, yeah. and it takes a lot, man, to not respond in a harsh way sometimes. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like you said, you know, I think you focus and that's what, uh, I think this is a lesson for all of us is that we have to focus <laughs> on, you know, and, and learn the difference between something constructive, you know, because there is maybe people that actually care about us that might say, hey, you know, and might want to construct us through a certain criticism or something. But most of the time, man, some people are just going to hate because they, they're going to hate. Yeah. You know, and we have to be able to just block that out. You know what I mean? Like, um, I always say this, like, I always try to like, hey, there's always going to be hate. But as long as as, as long as it doesn't. Um, poison our hearts yeah. you know what i mean because i think that's once it starts to poison our hearts that's where we can lose focus of like you said the 200 that did 
you know the 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 people that do like your merchandise the people that do show love the people that do show support you know i think that's what we gotta you know continue to fight for you know we gotta continue to 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 you know to do what we gotta do you know what i mean to block out that hate man you know what i mean yeah that was one of my things this year like you know try not to care about what people what people say or think or not like don't let that stuff get to you yeah um so that was something big for me for this year that you know kind of just brush it off yeah brush it off i mean good you know good um what do they say like bad publicity is good publicity you know what i mean so (laughs) it's it's but for me i i I want like i'm I'm like i'm a cool dude bro like I, i don't hate on no one like you know you make a cool design that's dope um like you know it kudos to you like i'm yeah. just you know so I, I expect that from everyone but not everyone's like me everyone's not everyone yeah everyone has a bad you know everyone has either just they're just mad at themselves or yeah. so all the hate that i i mean i don't get that much hate bro i'm not gonna i get a lot more love than i do hate yeah but you know just you know the, the more i grow i know that you know people are gonna come in to to be like yeah. ah, you know you're you're doing the same thing that he's doing or you you copied him or even people that copy me people go on their stuff and say hey you're copying dandy hats yeah <laughs> and i'm just like oh, well, i don't say nothing bro because the same like i said i can't i can't go i can't go and be like hey you're copying me when um you're when i got inspired by someone else doing the same yeah. thing you know what i mean um, yeah which i mean i'm just trying to right now even right now talking about i'm just trying to say like oh you know like is it, you know, am I copying or not, you know? But yeah. I, I, I'm not, bro. Like, I'm not, I don't, like, I try not to. I don't. Um, so I just try to stick to my lane, you know? Like, I have this hat right now. It's going to come out um, January 22nd for my pop-up. You know, I did a, the Tomateros with the pinstripe. You know, yeah. the pinstripe's pretty cool right now. Yeah. Um, with the TC uh, logo upside down, dripping, and, you know, people go crazy for it. People yeah. go crazy for it. People like it. People think it's different. It's different to people... Cause like I said, people haven't seen this stuff yeah. in 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 our in, in my niche. Yeah. So all this stuff is new to them. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah, this if is, I didn't do it, someone else was gonna do it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Exactly. So I mean, I I am happy that I was the first person to do it. A hundred percent, man. And that's how it should be. And that, and we and we should support our small businesses more like that. You know what I mean? Especially amongst our own people. You know what I mean? Especially amongst you know the black and the brown. You know what I mean? We have to be we have to be better at that. You know what I mean? Like, um, it's it's really sad. You know what I mean? Like when I, I don't I know it doesn't happen all the always, but it's really sad, you know what I mean, when you do look at comments. And I'm not talking about just your page or any just yeah. in general, you know what I mean, when you see uh uh, uh you know um someone opening up something and, and, and the people that mostly are hating or questioning that or you know, maybe they're just trying to sell a product on Facebook market or offer up or something, you know what I mean? And you know, just something like that, you know, the the people that mostly always hate is our own rasa. Yeah. You know, is our own people, you know what I mean? And and I think that's really sad, you know what I mean? And and maybe we do have valid things that we have to say, you know what I mean? But, you know what I mean? Like, we really have to, like, be better. Yeah, know? I feel like it's, it's it's like the older, like, the I feel like my age and up are the people that, you know, have that hate. But because the younger people do, they're not the same. Yeah. Like, I, I, I deal with a lot of younger people that buy my stuff, you know, and they, they it's not like, I remember I was, like, I ran ads on Facebook and all people that were old, like, what the heck? Why are you doing that? Like, yeah. that's so stupid. Like, and like all these younger people is like, they're more, I feel like they're more like, they're more um, worthy to support the younger people. Like, a, it's a whole new generation that is not like a hating, like you said, like all yeah. the rasa hates on each other. Like, now like the morritos right now growing up, they don't, I, they don't have that type yeah. of mentality. They want to like, I, who did I, who did I talk to about? He's like, nowadays, you know, they see that there's money. Like the young people, so now instead of everyone having their own thing, they're gonna yeah. combine like like everybody, like the Asians. Yeah. They, like it's a whole community exactly. to make money. And like yeah. now, I feel like now, like the younger Mexican gen- generation is yeah. starting to become like that because yeah. now they're seeing like, hey, if we work together, we can make more money than if we just you know exactly. just gatekeep. Yeah. So that's what I see right now. Yeah. You no, know? and you're one hundred percent right. You know, and I think that that was a good clarification because yeah, I think it is. A certain age you know what i mean like where because they weren't used to that yeah. you know or they were used to having a competitive age uh, edge i'm sorry that competitiveness you know what i mean but in the younger generation you know you are seeing that and there's a more openness because you see that in pop-ups yeah you know you see that in a lot of pop-up events and stuff like that you know um i know recently we did a pop-up event here 
And it was beautiful to be able to see everyone come together from the community, you know, right here in the or in San Bernardino area. You know, you had so many different pop-ups, you know, products, food, different things, and all coming together, you know, not competing one another, but actually like, man, you know what? And it was cool to see because you could actually see some of them come out of their puestos and then go and buy things from yeah. each other. You know what I mean? And so so I'm I'm glad we're able to clarify that too because yeah, like you know, but if you are, if you are, you know, what I mean, part of that, you know, that age difference, or maybe, or maybe you are, and you, you know, you find yourself, you know, I just want to encourage you, man. Like, you know, let's let's be better. Let's be better at supporting, you know, one another. You know, what I mean, if we don't like the designs, pues we don't like the designs. Y no los compramos. We don't buy them, yeah. and that's it. You know, we move on. You know what I mean? But we don't have to, you know, criticize or, you know, what I mean, like, or, you know, or you know, call people out. You know, call different things. You know what I mean? Like. You know, um, you know, you got people calling people each other names or saying, oh, you're a wannabe this, you're a wannabe that. And it's like, man, what? I can't just like a hat. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I can't just, you know, so. But it's really cool, you know, how we're coming together with, you know, and and in the fashion industry, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's nice to have our own stuff. You know, it really is, you know, because you got lids. You got these multi-million dollar businesses. Well, yeah, I mean, I, when I when I was like, man, who who who's Mexican? You know, Mexican, American, or Mexican that is making a hat for people that like dressing this way. Yeah. There's nobody. There's yeah. n- there's nobody. And even the people that don't know who, like, all these other brands, right? They don't know who they are. They don't know what they do. You know what I mean? Like, you, all, the marketing I do, it all comes from them. Like, I watch what they do. I replicate what they do. And it's just for the people that, I, that I'm hitting now, it's something new to them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, it's like, I mean... Not that I don't have to work, or not that I have to copy. I copy, copy. I just like, I just whatever is working for them. I I try to put it. like right now. I'm investing a lot into. Um, I have like two private um coaches that coach me. All right, you know, I paid. I think I paid like a thousand dollars for like a forty five minute conversation. You know, like I want to learn. I want to yeah. learn. I want to be on top of it because I already I already watched all the YouTube videos. I already done all the all the um yeah. search i had to do that you know i have all the i don't yeah. have all the answers but everything that's online for free i've already consumed yeah now it's time to go out and actually pay for someone to kind of okay look you've yeah. been doing this wrong you've been doing that wrong you've been doing good but we can if you're doing this good right now imagine if you do this yeah so well yeah. that's so good bro because i mean that's that's a let's pause on that a little bit because i think that's so important for people to hear and understand you got to invest in your craft. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like we talked about earlier about, you know, yeah, setting limits, being conservative, conservative with money. But I think that where money, a lot of our funding should go to, you know, when we're bringing things in is to invest in ourselves, is to invest in our craft. You know what I mean? And that's super important, man, because I think that that's the difference so many times between, you know, these large corporations and us is that they invest so much within yeah. You know, you look at big corporations. Like, I used to work for a big corporation. I don't even know if I can... I'm, I'm not going to mention them, but it was a big, big, big insurance company. Huge. They almost dominate, you know, the whole market. And I was, I used to work for them as a claims adjuster. And they would invest so much within that it was crazy, you know, yeah. because they understood something that a lot of times, um, you know, we as a people, we don't understand. And, and that's... That the more you invest within yourself and within the people around you, you know, the better, you know, their production is going to be because people and then it even comes to ourselves. It comes down to us. It's like if we see greater value within us, if we're able to see and sometimes it does take a coach, it does take someone to be able to see things within us or to point things within us that maybe we saw, but maybe we were too scared to identify or maybe we were never taught how to identify those things. So we do need to invest in those resources because those things are going to bring more value to us. And in return, we're going to be able to bring more value to, to w- the craft that we do. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, like I don't I, I, I didn't I didn't need to um, right now because, I mean, I, I have I, I, I well, I'm leasing right now a flagship store. Yeah. I didn't need to do that. I don't I don't I don't need I don't need to. But yeah. I feel like. It, it puts me on top of everyone else that's doing hats right now, you know? Yeah. So it, it, it makes me stand up for everyone. Like, who has a store, a display, like a showroom? Like, it's super nice. I'm, I invested so much money into it. Yeah. Who has that? Like, no one has a store 
dedicated for their brand is just hats yeah. that it's only open once a month for the public yeah you know what i mean so that that already is like i'm investing i that that first of all was a dream of mine to do yeah have a store fix it up how nice i wanted like i i i, I first so let me so i started from my room right yeah started from my room my girlfriend my little sister will help me then from there i went to my living room for my house my girlfriend my mom my little sister and my cousin will help me so from there i was like oh you know what in order for you to grow, you need to grow your surroundings, right? So I, I, I only could do so if I only could do a hundred orders in my room. Now, I, I that's it, right? I only can do hundred orders in my room. Yeah. Now I went to my living room. I could do three hundred, right? So once I did the three hundred, I was like, you know, I need more room because I, I can't, I can't. I'm taking up my whole mom's living room kitchen. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was like, you know, I, for, in order for me to grow, I need to get a little warehouse. So I got my little warehouse, yeah. dude. Not knowing, you know, not knowing if this was gonna pop out. It was my first time making my investment for the hats coming from China. I didn't know how it was gonna go. I had a feeling it was gonna go good, but I was scared. I was scared, like man. Yeah, I was paying, not, yeah. I was paying nine hundred bucks at my old for, spot. At, my, your, at I, your old spot. At my old spot. Okay, but from paying nothing. From paying nothing to nine hundred. Yeah. I see. Had my car payment and nine hundred bucks. For me, I was like, yeah, like that's yeah. for me. I was like, that's another car. I can get a nicer car. Blah blah. blah you know, <laughs> yeah. My mentality, dude. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna risk it for the biscuit. You know, let's do yeah. it. Like, if it doesn't work out, well, at least I can't say in the future, like, man, I should have done it. You know. Yeah. So boom. So I I I made the large investment. Um, I remember I put floor in the in the new warehouse. I try to make it look nice, so when people went to it they can be like oh wow like this is very it's dope quality. like it's quality this is dope yeah. this guy is you know this guy um and another thing i want you to like you know like everything matters you know everything you know you have to look nice dress nice uh um you know right now for the people your appearance is everything you know they right away they categorize you because of your appearance you know yeah. so it's like you know you invest in yourself dress nice have nice things so um you know let's be realistic the world we live in right now that's what people look at you know yeah. what I mean? so if they see you pull up in a junky car they're not that they're, honestly they're not going to take you serious or they're yeah. so i a lot of people that have that have money that i know um they have you know lamborghini they have nice cars they always network they always people always ask them like hey what do you do like what do you do to have that or yeah. how do you you know what i mean so like that's another thing i want to say like you know invest in yourself people like seeing nice things yeah. i like nice things so you know, I like to look nice, but anyways. Yeah, no, that's a good point, man. You know, so it really is, bro. It really, it really does matter. I, I, I 100% agree with you on that. You know that the way the details, details really do matter. You know what I mean? And 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 I even like what you said with the warehouse. Like you didn't have to, no. but you put floor. I put you know floor. What I mean? And that was I, that I was, was maybe something. I was only gonna be there. For, my dad got mad at me, dude, because I put floor. <laughs> yeah. He got mad. He's like, "Why are you wasting your money if it's not even yours?" Yeah. I'm like, Dad, but I'm gonna be there. You know, what about to the, what about, like, what about in the future when I outgrow it? Like, I'm not going to care about the thousand dollars I spent on the floor. Yeah. Like, I'm not, like, I don't, like, I'm not going to care. But, you know, it just, it just made me like, damn, like, fuck, am I really doing the right thing, you know, yeah. to gain this? But, dude, I feel like that little warehouse made my brand, because like I said, no one had a, no one here in LA that has a hat brand that's, that's, um, barely starting, right? Because I was barely, it was like only, like, not even, it was only like six months into because like I said, I I, I start highs and lows. Yeah. It was my low, so I started something new again, which is all this new stuff about yeah. the streetwear and stuff like that. So I was only like about six months in, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it, freak it, who cares? So I feel like that really like you know at the time no one had a warehouse, no one has a warehouse that I know that has a hat brand. No one, no one, no one has it. Yeah, not that just specifically for hats. Everyone yeah. has a has a has a warehouse because they do shirts, they do this, they yeah. do that, they multiple, do multiple multiple things. Multiple stuff. Yeah. No one has a warehouse just for hats. You know what I mean? Yeah. So right away that put me in a in a in a level that's like okay, like this guy, like people can trust me now more because I have yeah. a warehouse. I have something to lose. You know? Yeah. A lot of people. Um, I did it because I want people to trust me more. Like, okay, yeah. he has a, he's not going to just take my 40 bucks. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, so I did that. So this, that whole year, bro, it was, this last whole year was amazing. Cause I was there from January 8th to, you know, January, I mean, sorry, uh, December 8th. Okay. So, so almost a whole year. Almost a whole year I was there, yeah. you know, working. I was like, you know what? It was like in the ghetto. Um, I was scared to leave at night because it was like in the alleyway. 
So it was like I would have to leave at 8 p.m. <laughs> because I'm like, man, I don't want to get jacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start looking for somewhere, else, some something else. Yeah. So then even like the same, like when I got into my new spot, the same fear I had moving into paying 900 bucks is the same fear I have right now. I, I paid 2,700 bucks now for my new yeah. spot. So I was scared, and I, and I was like, man, can I, can I afford this? I can afford it. Like, like, I can afford it. Yeah. But going from paying nine hundred to twenty seven hundred bucks, it's yeah, that's, kind of that's a that's big triple. increment. You yeah. know what I mean? So I'm just like, man, like me thinking like, what else could I do with that money? You know, yeah. like I can buy myself this. I can do this with that money. Like, I had had to put like a nice, you know, um, a nice down, a uh, nice down on it to be able to get it because I'm I'm still new. You know, I only have a year with my business. Yeah. They want to see, you know, they want to see a lot of things, you know, back statements, all yeah. that. The good thing is I'm I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. But um. <sighs> yeah, I lost my train of thought. Well, no, that you had to. It was a, you know. The, oh yeah, I was, I was, I was as scared. I was as scared. Scare the fear, I was yeah. scared as pain going into nine hundred bucks. The same scares. I'm like, dude, you, you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Just do it. You know what I mean? Just go all out. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go all out. I talked to my accountant. You can. Af- he's like, dude, you can afford it easily. You can afford it easily. Like, you know, just you can do it. Yeah. Like, all right. Cool. Like, um. So now I had money to invest. Nice and then I put um epoxy floor i'm building like it's gonna look it looks completely something very very sick that no one has bro yeah. that for me is gonna be that's gonna it's like, wait, it's bro. Like, i remember like when they were installing my led sign outside i was just looking at them like damn like this is what i dreamed of right here dude like this is yeah that's, that's this is what i've dreamed of and like this is what i pictured myself doing and well not not really pictured myself but like i always thought behind my head like that image was always there in my head of that moment yeah i don't know how it's weird but that moment, I was like, dude, like this is crazy. Like, yeah, it's and to here. say that it's something that you've you've been building, you've yeah. been working to be able to see that, you know, to be able to see the fruit of all that labor, man. Um, it's gotta be it's gotta be amazing, bro. You yeah. know, and, and congratulations for thank that, you, man. Thank and, you. And that's uh, you you got a soft opening right coming up. Yeah, I have a soft, for friends and family. Have it on Friday, and then on uh, this Sunday is gonna be like pull up you know pull up get your hat a yeah. week before and so i'm expecting like a lot of people to be there yeah you know um i was happy enough that at my other spot people would line up like i had like 20 30 people lined up before i would open come get their hats so hopefully you know people i'm p- pretty sure people are going to come out and support me as yeah. well you know a lot Heck more people yeah. people want to yeah. see what's inside people want to you know catch the vibe it's a whole vibe in there man i'll, yeah. sh- I'll show you a video right now how it looks yeah. right now um, it's a whole ass vibe in there. It's 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 something that no one's doing. Yeah, something no one's doing. Well, let, well, I'm, I mean, for sure, send me yeah. that video okay. because I mean, I know this this is going to be released after that. Okay, but I still send me that video because okay. I'll I'll put it in there. I'll, All right. I'll plug it into the YouTube video so that way everyone can see, man. And uh, bro, I love it. I love what you're saying. I love what you're talking about. That energizes me, bro. I love seeing people win. Yeah. I really do. And I know I don't know you. Um, you know, I, this is our first time, yeah, first yeah. time actually meeting, man, for everyone that's watching, this is 100% organic, you know what I mean, we didn't plan this, you know, this isn't, you know, like as far as like the questions and everything, like this is 100% organic, first time us meeting, and, um, you know, I love the vibe, bro, that you're bringing, I love the the energy, bro, and, and bro, I see it, man, I see, you know, it could be the Mexican lids, bro, you know what I mean, Danny hats, bro, yeah. you know what I mean, because we do, we need that, we need a dream like that, you know what I mean? We need to be able to say, man, no, you know what, like, you know, um, you know, we can have bigger and better things. You know, there is it is possible. You know what I mean? And and it's always making sure. And that's why that's why I congratulate you. And I and I honor you so much for that. You know, what I mean, because you are taking the right steps. You know, you're not just, you know, like you said, you know, I hired an accountant. You know, what I mean, like, that's good. You know, like, you know so many people, man, that is like. You know, they they start their businesses, but that's one area they can never get right. You know what I mean? But that it that in itself shows me that you're serious because you know what I mean. You you want that track record to show. You yeah. want to be you're interested in actually seeing what comes in, what goes out. You're that shows that you know what you are setting yourself up for the future because that's what I always tell people. I always say, you know, when you know keeping good account of what you're doing. It's not just for the now. It's because you actually dream of the future. Yeah. You actually dream of those big credit lines. You actually dream of those big business loans. You dream of those big warehouses. You dream of that. And you know that sadly, but it's sadly, but at the same time, it's necessary. Aki, right here in the United States, man, if you don't have paper record, man, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, you know, banks are just going to be like, no, 
you know, lease companies are going to be like, nah, sorry. You yeah, so I, mean? I do everything legit, bro. Taxes, L- yeah. I have everything on paper that I'm a legit business. I'm not trying to take the cheap way yeah. out, this way out. Like, yeah. nah, like, it's like, I want to go straight. I want to go straight yeah. and I want to do things correct. You know, yeah. I have a, I have the, the thing too, I, you have to have a team in order to do this. Like, right now you have... Your wife helps you out, you yeah. know, I and mean, you need, like, you couldn't be doing all this without her help, you know what right. I mean? So, like, me, like, I have some, I have my, my friend, my close friends help me out, you know, they come, they do boxes, I pay them, I pay them, I feel like I pay them very well. Um, I fly out my primo from Culiacan to come and help me. Oh, nice. Also help him out, you know what I mean? Um, he's gonna, I want him to, sh- I want to show him the ropes here, so when we go to Culiacan and open up the same thing we're doing here, but over there, he can be, like, the main guy running it. Yeah. So that's why I bring him over here. I mean, um, uh, I feel like my girlfriend is a, uh, you know, my, I feel like, shout out to my girlfriend, shout out to Yari. I feel like if, you know, I, uh, it's, it's my credit because it's me, but I feel like if it wasn't for her and letting me, um, like it just, it's, she lets me do what I got to do, bro. Without, without all that extra, like the extra stuff, you gotta bro. You got to spend time with me. You got to do this. She yeah, understands. Yeah. <laughs> she understands that. Yeah. She understands that the grind, you know. I'm focused on this yeah. is this is this is right now this is my main focus yeah. for us because it's for the future right yeah. so she gets to enjoy everything that I enjoy and she deserves it bro yeah. she deserves it because she's not the type of person to be like hey why don't you text me yeah. hey why don't you do this hey you haven't talked to me all day hey blah blah yeah. hey this hey that you know what I mean so it's like she keeps my head like very open to what I gotta do, bro. That's you what's know? up. Yeah. So no, no toxic, no toxic thing. No, hey this, hey that. Yeah, like, and hey, I feel like I feel like that. Fella, fellas, fellas, listen, listen. Yeah. You gotta stay away from the toxic. Yeah. <laughs> stay away from, cause yeah, it's true, man. Like you know, that's that's, that's a big help, dude. It is. It's it really is, help. man. And and um, and no, and all jokes aside, though. But yeah, man, it's it really is. It really does matter who is on your team. You know what I mean. And um, I know you you even brought you even brought a, a friend out here with you too, right? My friend Lou, shout out Lou. Yeah, and so, <laughs> sub <what's up>, Lou. <laughs> so man, yeah, it's uh, it it's, it really is, man, and it it's it's good that you have some good people that are surrounding you and and are leveling up with you and that you know support what you're doing yeah. and that are hands on with what you're doing. So I, I get to focus on what I do best, right? Which is um, what is what is it? That's what I, that's what, I, that's what I wanted to ask. I feel like marketing is like my strong like yeah. I, I know what I'm doing marketing and that's also what I was going to say cuz you bro like your marketing is dope. Yeah. So like I yeah. for real I'm not trying to like brown nose I'm not trying to like yeah. you know for real like your Thank marketing you. Thank you. I like it, bro. I just I just like I said I I I I learn from other people what they're doing, what's yeah. working for them, and I just bring it. I just try to whatever, whatever. Like it's crazy, dude. Because I look at something, right? And I'm like, okay, I can do this. Yeah. Like, like, but it's I look at something and I'm like, okay, if I were to do this different, it would work better. Mm-hmm. Boom. So like, I can, I can. It's crazy, dude. Because I have, I have imagination to make a design, right? So if I look at something, I'm like, that looks dope. I'm gonna do this to it and that to it. Okay, yeah. that looks sick. Yeah. Like fast. I get ideas like fast. I can't just. Sit down, and okay, today I'm gonna design. I'm gonna make a new hat today. Yeah, you know? like I either have to be going on Instagram. And I see that hat, like, oh, that's a dope hat. Yeah, like, all right, cool. Right away, I jump on my computer and I just I start yeah. making it. All right, cool. That's that's already set. Yeah. If I have anything to add to it later, well, it's just still right there, you know. Yeah. So I try to do everything. Make TikToks. When I see a TikTok I like, I do it right then and there. I don't wait. Okay, I'm gonna do this. No, I just do it right then and there. Yeah. And I heard somebody say like. I think the uh, pot, I don't know what the guy's name is. Like, people wait. No, when you've got a good idea, you gotta do it right then and there because yeah. then you forget. I'm 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 learning that. Okay. I'm learning that right now a lot. Like, cause I, I always I always used to look at people um, like on videos, Instagram, TikTok, and all that. I used to be like, man, how do they? You know, like how are they so quick and good to do that? Cause I'm not like I, I'm not a spur of the moment guy. Yeah. I can't. You know, I I I've tried to be. But what's worked for me though, and I'm, but I'm getting better at doing it quicker, is that I do like if the idea does come to me, I'm at the gym, or I'm just sitting there, I'm driving, you know, I'll literally like pull out my notebook, the note on the phone, and I'll write that idea down, yeah. so that as soon as possible, you know, we'll my wife and I will record it, film it, you know what I mean, and then release it. But um, but I. That's something that I'm definitely, definitely like trying to get better at. Like where, don't wait. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know, just don't wait. do it. Do it. Do it. I, remember, I was at f- f- 
I think it was Friday night. I was with my girl, and I saw this video of um, of, of Junior H that says Ocho, 800 días que pasaron. So it has him like all dirty in uh, in like in Mexico, like just just like just like very like. So it goes from that to where he's at now, and I'm like, damn, that's dope. I'm gonna do that. So right right then and there. I got my phone. Okay, I have pictures of me working at the restaurant. Yeah. And I have pictures of that. So right now, that thing has over like 100,000 views. Because I did it right there at yeah. that moment. Like, boom, I got it. on TikTok. It. On TikTok, yeah. TikTok, yeah. So it's like, you know, that that you know that idea came, sparked to me fast. I was literally sitting there eating. And I was like, I, saw, I was like, yeah. I'm going to do it right now. And yeah. I know for a fact it's yeah. going to do good. Yeah, that's yeah. that's dope. My wife, she's, uh, lately she's been doing a, more of that. Like where okay. she sees like a reel or something. She's like, oh, that's cool. Like I want to. And then she'll take a picture and she'll do it real quick, yeah. you know? Yeah, but I, that's one of my goals is like, man, I want to be better, better at that, you know what I mean? But because I do, I see your marketing and I yeah. see it. And and it, even like that one video you showed of um, where it seemed like you were closing down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Dude, that, that, that was genius, bro. Yeah. Like, I was like, because what that did was like, wait, wait, so where's his hats? Yeah. yeah. Like, in me, like, that's yeah. how I took it. I'm like, wait, no, like. Yeah, is there his so it took me to want to learn more yeah you know what i mean it took me to want to instead of like uh oh, he's closing pues ni yeah. modo, ni, you know what i mean like yeah yeah okay no it took me to be like no wait like what's so, going on what's here? going on yeah. and it kind of put that like that anticipation that nah something's happening yeah. or something's gonna come up yeah. and then sure enough that's when you made the announcement that talk talk a little bit about that what led to that um because once you started you know being consistent in your designs with dandy hats and you started releasing dandy series and all these different designs um they were being sold by online retails oh, right yes. stores right yeah and talk a little bit about how that started and then how um how you came about this decision now okay so i mean uh i'm they want to make money right i mean it's they want to they know that the hat sells mm -hmm. people ask for it so okay i want to make some money Right. So it's just like, okay, it's, um, they're not going to buy something that doesn't make money just because yeah. they like it. So they see that I'm doing good. So the people are buying hats. Okay. How everything I'm going to, I want to see how much, you know, it is. Okay, cool. I got one person, my friend, a shout out to my boy, Carlos, Finest Merch. He supported me a lot. You know, shout out to my boy, Finest Merch. He's the one that opened his doors for me when like no one did anymore. Like no one believed in the brand. I was still doing like the Jalisco hats, the J-A-L. Yeah. And he would still buy them. And I was still doing good, but he would he would buy them. No, he would buy them. He was the person that would buy them. And then um, he he you know he helped me out a lot too because he he also built a big brand. I don't know if you ever heard about his store, Finest Merch. Um, he's one, like a, a young Mexican entrepreneur that has okay. a big, nice store in Huntington Park. Um, so me and him kind of grew kind of grew together, you know. Yeah, at yeah. The, at the, I mean, he's somewhere, like, way higher than I am, yeah. but, like, we started off kind of, like, together, you yeah. know? Um, so, you know, he he's always had my hats right there at his store. Then other, you know, since he has my store, everyone else that follows him was, you know, is going to, okay, you know, have, have they're going to want my hats at their store, too, right? Yeah. Because it's all, like, a, it's it's all a trend, too, bro. And if they if see here, so he's a, he's the hottest store right now. He has my product. Other stores are going to hit me up, like, hey, I want your product, yeah. too. So then also my guy from... Um, while I had on Western Wars in Sacramento, shout out to my boy Edgar. That man, he gave me the opportunity to be in the store for um, for a whole year. Like like um, finest merch, he he also got had my hats before I started all this new trend. Yeah. So shout out to him and then um, my neighbor Letty too. She has a store right there in um, La Puente called um, Luxury Apparel. Okay. She opened the doors to my brand too. Um, baseball at Yankees, that's what we're talking to. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to my boy Junior. That's Tamir. where I got my hats from. So, like, all, all, all of them helped me, bro, to grow. Everybody helped me. You yeah. know what I mean? Everybody helped me. But um, the business model that I have is kind of like, it doesn't make sense. Um, uh, them, like, what, how I thought about it was, like, I want to make my stuff more exclusive. Yeah. Because I sell out in, uh, last week, I think I took, like, my fast sellout was, like, four days. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, I saw that. It was like, how many hats in four days? It was, um, I had 1,400 orders. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane, Yeah, bro. that's crazy. It's in nuts. four days. Four days. That's yeah. awesome, bro. Man, but it's nuts, but there's other people making $2 million in a couple hours, dude. It's yeah. it's possible. It's possible. You know, I, and I, I feel like I can get there. Yeah. But um, anyways, so 
they could buy off of me, but then I could sell out, but then they still have my hats, right? Yeah. So I'd be like, man, like I started seeing like, dude, like, what can I do to make my brand more, like more exclusive? I wanted to make it more. I want exclusivity. I want exclusive. I yeah. want you to go out somewhere, and someone. Is, I want you to go out, right? You're wearing um a dandy hat. Yeah. And you look at my dandy hat, and you're like, damn, that's a dope hat. I couldn't get it. Yeah. And then you say to that I'm wearing. Damn, I wanted to get the hat, but I didn't get it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's the probability of you wearing the same hat is not is not high like other like other things. Right, so, right. So I remember I was watching this um, podcast about Bape. Bape, you know what the brand Bape yeah, is, right? Yeah, yeah. So the um, the guy he like same thing. He had a bunch of people selling his stuff at stores. Yeah. To the point where he would go in and it was already getting saturated. Like I can just go there and buy it. So what he did is like he just pulled. He pulled all his stuff from the sh- from the stores and made a flagship store, which is what I'm doing. Mm. So it, it kind of made his it made him pop off even more because you know the hats are more the the demand is high and yeah. the product is low. So I decided to 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 just take to take all my hats away from everyone and just have me sell them. Yeah. Have, have myself sell them and you know build just build up the hype more. Yeah, you know? yeah, because it, and it's and I really think it's a smart move. It really is because. At the end of the day, like it's it, you, you, what you're building really is a personal brand. Like it, it, it's you. It's who you are, you know. And so it really does make sense to like, hey, where'd you get your hat? No, I got it on this shop. Or I got no, no. It's it's like no. That's a where'd you get your hat? Well, dandy hats. Dandy you know hats. what I mean? And um, so yeah. So you see, like you said, you heard from me from you know baseball, right? You yeah. heard from a from another resource. Yeah. When it should be me exactly it should be like okay yeah. you know it's it's but the thing is like they everybody helped me grow everybody helped me grow i'm not yeah. taking it away from no one because everyone helped me like to bring it to like you you met my brand because of him you know what yeah. I mean? so so it got to the point where i mean i told everyone you know what this is my plans i you know i think this is the best thing for the for the for my brand um hopefully you guys don't get mad at me but yeah you know what i mean i'm trying to grow my brand as well too you know yeah. like just everybody else i'm i think this is the best next move for me you know, yeah. and if it were to backfill on me, you know, I, I would, you know, if you, I would offer you guys my hats, if it, if, if it doesn't work for me, then, you know, I hope that we can still make business in the future. Yeah. You know no, I mean? And I think you did it in a super respectful way, like with the letter that you, you wrote, yeah. you posted it and everything, you know, and it just goes to show the type of person you are. You yeah. know what I mean? It really does. You know that, you know, a lot of people can. Just be like, nah, like this is this is me. You know what I mean? Pull out, no explanation needed. But because if you think, I didn't do it for the money, right? Because yeah. if I wanted more money, I would sell it them would more sense hats, to be, right? Yeah. So it's not the point that I want all the money for me because selling hats to them is extra money for me that yeah. I get paid right away because everyone pays me. You know, there's cuentas of fifteen thousand dollars, ten thousand yeah. dollars that these people are giving me. You know, so it's not the it's not the money motive that I did. Yeah. I want all the money for me. No, it's not that because I'm making less stock now. And I'm selling everything yeah. myself. You know what I mean? But if, you have that exclusivity. But I have that exclusivity, yeah. right? Because I'm thinking about this longevity, not short. Because, yeah, right now I can make 10,000 hats and sell them in a month. But I can make quick, I mean, I, not quick money, but it's like that's going to take away from the how the band, the brand is built yeah. off the hype, you know? Yeah. So I don't want to do that. You know, I want to build it up, build it up, build yeah. it. I want this longevity, not short term. 100%, man. Yeah. And you know who's super good at, at that? Because it, it comes to my mind uh, right now when you were talking all about that. Have you heard of Young L.A.? Yeah, I think I heard about them, yeah. Okay, so they're they're based out of L.A., and um, and they do that. They are just exclusive to themselves, but they sell out in, like, literally, like, they'll do drops in hours. Like, yeah. they're sold out because they've been – they're. I love the way they market, too. Like, they have these marketing campaigns, and, and it's all outside of, you know, it's just their own, their yeah. own. And um, I know the owners, they're, uh, they're super savvy in that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so when you're describing me what you're doing, like that's exactly what came to my mind. I was like, that exclusivity, it really does do something. And it really does traffic people, you know, towards your product. You yeah. know? So I love that, man. And then um, you've even had some like some... You even had some like uh, famous people, huh? Celebrities, yeah, just yeah. rocking your hats. Yeah, man. Can you name a few that? that... Uh, we have um, right now the, you know, shout out to my boy... Um, Shout out to my boy Oscar. Okay. Oscar. Um, Oscar, Oscar Ortiz. Ortiz. Yeah. Okay. His yeah. brother William. You know, he's, dude, I remember since 2016, um, his brother, his brother, that's kind of like, like he's not the famous one, but he's like kind of like, I feel like he's like the the head. Like he's the one that kind of runs it. Yeah. In the, in the, in the low key. He's not very out there like the, the three of them. Yeah. 
Um, I would always keep it cool with him, dude. Like, always like, hey, man, I have hats. He sent me some. You know, I'll, I'll give them to Gerardo. I'll give them out. But um, but it was weird because they never would wear them. So I was like, ah, it's cool. You know, like, as, as, long, as, they, as, as long as they see them, it's cool. Yeah. So then I would, uh, so per se, right, since I think that was 2018, I would always give them hats. Yeah. Cool. He would wear, he would wear them. He would always wear them. He's like, hey, bro, cool hats. You yeah. know, I'll wear them. So then until, like, you know, recently when I started all this new stuff, you know, I would give it to him. And then he'd be like, hey, um, my um, Oscar, right now he wears his, my hats every TikTok he does, yeah. dude. Yeah, I, fo- I follow him now. He, yeah. he, he wears my hats. It's yeah. just crazy. because. Yeah. But the good thing is, bro, it's because he likes it. You know? Exactly. Per se, I, I bring you a hat. Hey, I'm going to give you a hat. You know, you have people come in. Hey, that's a dope hat. I want it. So people are wearing my hat because they like the hats, not because exactly. not because yeah. they're um, promoting my hats. Exactly. No, because yeah. even Harold Ortiz, I would send them a lot of hats until Harold Ortiz finally grabbed one that he liked. I'm pretty sure that he said, hey, that's a dope hat. I want it. Yeah. And he's wearing it because he likes it, though. He yeah. likes it. He likes the yeah. hat. Yeah, so, he recently they recently did like a like a like a duet, right? Yeah, yeah. On, on TikTok. A TikTok, and yeah, he was make wearing. I think it was the make make money. No, no, he's wearing the dandy one, the one that um, Lou's wearing, the one that looks like the Von Dutch style. Oh, so it's okay, all black. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just says dandy with yeah. flipped upside down. So yeah, because so. I know I've I, or I think I've seen him wear that one too. The make uh, make money. Yeah, he wears that one too. Yeah, I've he wears that one. one. He wears um the dandy racing one was the first one that he wore. I like that one, man. Yeah, that so one. you're um, gonna have those at the. Nah, at so the shop? no, so that that's so I never re released something twice, right? So that yeah. colorway is that colorway. No, you know what? I think me quedaron pocas that I'm gonna have exclusively there at the pop up shop. So maybe if you okay, put up, yeah, yeah, you can, yeah, I'm gonna. You can, you I, can. I, I, re, I saw that when I was like, that one's dope. I like that. Yeah, so um, so yeah, so Oscar has been you know helping me a lot. You know, he's very quiet. Talk to him, like, hey, bro, yeah. here, here are the new hats. What hat do you like? You know, and he's like, oh, I like that one. Okay, I'm gonna send yeah, them to you. Else? And even had with these the other day hit me up too, like, hey, what's up, bro? Like, que onda? Yeah. I was like, oh, shit, like, this guy's That's dope, hitting me man. up. You know, the brother, Kevin Ortiz, también hits me up, like, hey, que onda? I want some hats. Da, da, stuff like that. So it's, you know, I have them. I have, um, who else? Um, Vic, Vic, Victor, um, the guy sings uh, En el Radio Cochinero. No, you never heard it? I think I got it. I think I have to and hear it. And El Radio Cochinero. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that, guy, <laughs> that guy is super cool, too, dude. Like, he... He wears my hats. I remember, um, I guess they were stopped in the freeways or somewhere, and they got off, and some guy recognized him. He was, they were in the middle of the freeway, dude. It was stopped. <laughs> and um, the, one of the guys that got off that wasn't with him was wearing one of my hats. And then I guess the guy that was wearing my hat tried to, like, oh, look, this is dandy hats. Uh, you can hear in the video. And then the guys are like, oh, yeah, I know him. He, él me patrocina las gorras. And I'm like, what the heck? Like, damn, that's dope. <laughs> that's like, tight. without even, like, yeah, without yeah. even knowing nothing, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like, it was just, like, very organic. Like, oh, look at this hat. Yeah. I know who that guy is. He yeah. gives me the hats to me for free. Yeah. And I was like, oh, damn, like, that's dope. You know, I have a bunch of uh, TikTok influencers, too, that wear my stuff. Um, you know, George from um, um, Pero Anoche. I have Lalo, Compa Lalo. I have, oh, I have, a, I have a bunch of people. Yeah, that are rocking my hats right now. You know, that's cool. And I'm telling you, man, because it, it really does give off that. Like I said, man, it, I, you know, that uh, it gives that. It's still that Mexican culture. Yeah. But at the same time, that uh, you know, that American Mexican American culture. You know what I mean? The 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 like how it's evolved. You know what I mean? Like that's why I like your hats, bro. Yeah, because it's you. like I, I feel like I identify with them. You know, yeah. I'm like man, this, you know. Uh, it, and and after knowing, coming to know you, you know what I mean, following you on Instagram and everything, like it just makes you even fall in love even more with the brand. You know what yeah. I mean? And so that's what I'm saying. That's why I told you earlier. You know, like you really are building something real unique and personal. You yeah. know what I mean? So, so man, heck yeah, that's that's, that's tight, cool. man. So yeah. uh, I I just hope I hope the best. You know what I mean? Like Thank from you. here, you know that more people will keep catching wind from it. You know what I mean? And that you continue. You know what I mean? To to, to just target the, the 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 people you know what I mean that you wish to target and everything, and um, one last question, man, before we we uh, before we come to a landing, if okay. that's cool, yeah. Um, and it's just something more like you know what I mean, like uh, I, I know we kind of touched on it a little bit, you know what I mean, but okay. t- well, maybe two things. How do you handle stress? Okay, like how is it that you handle the stress of you know? The day to day and everything, yeah. and then also, I know you, I know you said earlier that you know you there's no regrets, but 
when it comes down to maybe failures, maybe a failure, maybe a, a mistake or something that maybe you've gone through and that you say, man, this happened and this is what I learned from it. So those two things, man. Okay. Stress. So I like, I'm a big, like, I like going to theme parks. So that right there is like something like stress is that, you know, going to Disneyland with my girlfriend. Um, I have a Disneyland pass. I have okay. a universal pass. Um, I get out with my girlfriend too, you know, it kind of gets me out of like the hole. Cause I'm, my, my head's working all, like right now talking right now. I'm thinking about other things that yeah. I can do, you know? Yeah. So my mind's always racing, always racing. Like, you know, I, I, I can't slow down. You know, I have a lot yeah. of stress. I, you know, I have things opening up. Like what if people don't show up? What if people show up? What about if people don't like these? So it's always, but it's cool though. But like, how can I tell you? Like it, it it's cool that I have that though, because that's what keeps me going hard. Yeah. Like that uncertainty of something that I know for a fact that, you know, I don't, I don't know for a fact that everything's going to sell out. Like, I'm not confident everything's going to sell out fast or a lot of people are going to go. Yeah. If you look at it, like, if you look at it, like, strategically and what you've been doing, yeah, you know, the likes you've been getting, the people that have been following you, it looks like it's going to be a full-blown, like, you know, exito. But I don't 100% know that. You know what I mean? So it's like that. I'm always thinking about that. But like I said, it's something good that I, I don't expect things. Like, I'm yeah. always like... Okay, dude, what if this or how can I make this better? So I'm always trying to make something better and yeah. better and better, you know. But yeah, to like the the stress, I like going to like, you know, Disneyland, you know, like Universal. Like yeah. I remember when um Horror Nights was here in Hollywood, dude, I would go I went like oh like five, six times, dude. Like <laughs> that's that's, cool. that's just for me, that's something to yeah. get my head out yeah. of, of what's going on, you know. That's cool, man. And and is that something that you would definitely recommend for people to find something? Yeah, I that mean, really gets them out of their head. Yeah, because I mean, too much of it. I feel like too much of it is 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 bad. You know, too much. Like if you're stressing a lot over something, you gotta have to find something that you know. It's even good because it like refreshes your mind. Yeah, like it like it's a fresh start yeah. to your mind. You know what I mean? It's just like resets you. It resets you like yeah. those 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 things. Those yeah. things. Um, you know, I like to watch movies. Um, what else do I like? I like to eat. I love to eat. <laughs> yeah. You know? What's your favorite food? I like wings. Wingstop okay. is all right. Wingstop is right. like all my right. all-time favorite. <laughs> um, that, um, but I, I always like to speak about like you know, have Gallofino, the guy, the the guy that makes the hat you're wearing. Oh, okay, yeah. It's cool to talk. Like I love talking about like what we're having like this. I yeah. this is also like relaxing for me. Yeah. Because it kind of like, like for me is like fuck. Am I doing enough? Am yeah. I doing enough? And like when I have when I have a conversation, talking about things I've done, I'm like damn dude, like. It's just like, okay, you know, you're, yeah. you're doing good, you know, because you always like you're going is I'm going so fast that I can't really like I can't really like think about what I've been doing. Like I've yeah. been doing this right. I've been doing that right. Like you, it's right. like a way of stopping, analyzing. At, yes. Ex analyzing. Sometimes you it's it's it really is therapeutical. Yeah. You know, I've that's one thing that I've always um, that I've been learning these last few years is because I've always been a very close person. Okay. Very close person. Like I, like I'm social in the in in the sense where I can be in a room, I can be with people, I can converse, we can laugh and everything. But when it comes to things like in my mind, very closed off. And yeah. then what I've been learning these last few years is, you know what, just talking, just th talking, talking about things. It really does just release sometimes, and sometimes you'll discover the answers that you're like stressing. Yeah, about. even doing that, I would, I would every podcast I come out motivated. Yeah, I come out like, all right, cool, like yeah. you're doing something good, you know. Like right now, it's just like right now, it's very like, like I said, I love doing podcasts because yeah. it's like I get to talk to someone that doesn't know, and I love to talk about what I know. Like I love yeah. to share to people if they ask me like, hey, how'd you do this? Well, I did this and yeah. I did that, so. For me, it's something like very dope that, yeah. you know, I can. Yeah, I'm learning, dude. I'm learning. You know, I'm learning. And, you know, I, not just because, and that's another good lesson that we can learn. Just because I'm older than you, yeah. it doesn't mean I can't learn anything from you. I learned a lot, you know what I mean, Thank from you. this conversation, man. And then what about the other one as far as like, um, uh, what have you learned from, you know, moments of failure? What's been the biggest lesson? <sighs> mm. Look, I mean, I don't have like the exact like answer for that, but what I what I can what I can kind of like make sense is like I always thought stuff was gonna come to me easy, you know. I always thought like I remember driving to 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 the restaurant to work, 
And I was like, man, when is when is it when is it gonna be my time? You know, I feel it, but when when is it gonna come to me? And I waited three, four years driving to the same to work mm-hmm. until I was like, you know what? No, you have to put in the work to get the result. And so I learned that is that when I started, you know, um, changing my life because, I, like I said, uh, my parents worked hard to give me, you know, whatever I want. Yeah. Not I, not everything, of course, but like right. you know, everything I always provided had. A they good provided life. a provided a cool life when i was small yeah um growing up you know i mean of course there's rough times but they always made it easy accessible yeah to have nice things so i feel like that for me when i grew up was like okay it's gonna come to me yeah. like how it always came to me when i was young you know yeah until it kind of, i just snapped out of it i'm like no nah, it's not gonna happen dude like, yeah. <laughs> wake up and smell the coffee dude it's not gonna happen yeah i feel like that that i don't know if that answers your question no that is because i think that that's a good one, you know, that we can all learn from because sometimes, you know, depending, we all have different ways of growing up, you know, and some of us, some of us had it rough. Some of us maybe had it easier, but regardless, you know, we're all going to have situations in our life where, you know, maybe we're used to things coming a certain way or we're used to seeing things happen a certain way, you know, but we all eventually have to come to a realization of, you know, I know I've, I can relate to that a lot where, you know, where, when you no longer have that, um, you know, that cushion of that, that comfortable cushion of knowing, man, I can always fall back on this. When you no longer have that and you're actually like fighting for yourself and you're starting to build a life, you know, like me, myself, I'm, you know, building my family and building, you know what I mean? We're building this, we're building all that. And, um, and so it's always that realization of like, you know what? It's not just going to be handed to you. You yeah. know, there's things that you're going to have to work for because, you know, if we just stand still and expect for things to happen, it's not, you know, and, and, and the dangerous thing is sometimes we can get comfortable, Yeah. you know, and comfort, you know, uh, comfortability is good. You know, we, it's okay. But the truth is, man, that if there's things that need to change within us, if there's things that need to change for us in order to grow, you know, then we're going to miss out. On yeah, like me, I'm very like a um, comfortable guy. Like I'm comfortable. Yeah. So I always try to get myself out of the comfort zone. Yeah. Right. So that's why I got this new place, too, because it's going to make me work harder to, you know what yeah. I mean? So like I like being comfortable, but I know that of myself, you know, and how can I do that if I put certain certain amount of pressure like oh no yeah. you have to get up you have to keep studying self aware you have yeah. to to keep doing this because i know myself i know myself yeah. that i know if this ha- happened to me when i was 23 years old that would have just been ch- oh, I'm, i made it like finally i made it you know <laughs> but you know it's, yeah. it's, it's it's not it's not like that because of that reason yeah that's what's up man that's what's up and then um uh, is ezra ezra here is it we could close out right now with right. uh I know my son. I'm going to see if he wants to ask you a question. Okay. He said he wants to ask you a question. All right. Okay. I was like, all right. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Get him used to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Probably should shoot a podcast soon with That's him, man. That's cool. That'd he be cool, wants yeah. To, he wants to do it, man. And, and uh, man, but it's, it's. Um, I can't wait, man. I'm going to, I'm going to definitely try to go to that, to that uh, opening um, that you're going to be having on Sunday, man. Thank you. Yeah. Take the family. Yeah. You want to come around? Come around. Go to the front so you don't knock down the camera. <laughs> All right. You already know what you, know what you want to ask him? Come on. Come through. All, All right. right. What's up? Say what's up. This is my son. This is my son, Ezra. Say hi. Hi. You got to speak into the mic. Hi. <laughs> what do you want to ask him? Um, I want to ask him. Could speak into the mic. I want to ask him that um, when it was his first time making his hats. My first time making my hats was back in 2015. I don't know what exact date, but it was like the end of uh, 2015 that I started making the hats. How, yeah. So, and how, ask him how old was he? Like? How old was he? How old were you? I was like 23, 24. Okay. Yeah, 23, 24. Okay, so okay, so 2015. I think I was. I don't know why. I I I thought. I thought when. Uh, um, Cause I had heard somewhere, okay. But I think I heard it wrong, and I thought I thought it said you were 15 years old. No, no, no. No, 2015. 2015. 2015. Yeah, okay. 2015. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then, um, oh, ask him uh, what you always like to ask is like about the cars. What's his What's his dream car? What's your dream car? My dream car 
is hopefully that I, if I you know work hard enough this is my goal for you i want to get a lamborghini yours that's what i want i want to get yours uh, you like the lamborghinis huh yeah he's but a my, but my speak into it but my dream favorite is a uh, bugatti oh yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> heck all yeah right. all right all right papa all right so um um, how can they find you? How can they find you on uh, social media? You can media? find me on social media. Uh, on Instagram, it's Dandy Hats, just like how it's um, how it's pronounced. Also on Instagram, también Dandy Hats. If you want to follow me, my personal page is uh, sr dot dandy. Um, and yeah, that's how you can find me. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool, man. So yeah, follow him on uh, on Instagram and all that. And then also, I'm gonna be posting the details of your okay. store, uh, the flagship right there, yeah. and. Um, um, and man, you know what? I I want to uh, just like I said, man, wish you the best, bro. Thank you. Um, you know, I I hope that you get all the success that you you deserve because you know not just because you deserve it, but because you're working for it, man. And um, you know, I hope that wh everyone who's listening um, is inspired, is really inspired hopefully, because hopefully, you've yeah. inspired me, bro. Like honestly, Thank you, you, thank you, you man. really do. Um, I know you you you're inspiring my son too, man. So you know, um, and. And I know that there's a lot of people out there with, with dreams, with visions. And um, and I would like to, if it's okay with you, yeah. man, you know, um, you know, I, I I love to have conversations with just anyone. You know what okay. I mean? I, that's the whole thing about our vision about Offbeat Podcast, man, is that, you know what, I, we love to hear people's stories. But um, if it's okay with you, man, um, I would love to just, you know, pray for you and pray for your, for your upcoming success, your business. Okay. Is that okay with you, yeah, man? Yeah, of course. All right. Let, let's go ahead and pray. All right, dear Heavenly Father, I just come before you, and I thank you so much for, for Leonardo Sandoval. I thank you so much for, um, for his life and, and for all the people that you have placed around him. I thank you so much for um, the success that he's able to, to experience through dandy hats, God. And, and Lord, I just pray that you would just continue to, to take his life, to take his business, to take these ventures, and to take everything that he's gaining through this, even that the wisdom, the knowledge, the understanding that he's gaining um, so that he can be an inspiration to this generation. You know, our generation, uh, this generation that's up and coming, we need more people. We need more individuals. More, we need more young men to rise up and to be able to show that, that, that they can be successful, that there is a better way, that there is a better path, and that they can do it. And uh, I just thank you so much for his life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. So thank you guys so much, man. This was Offbeat Podcast. Stay tuned for the next episode. Again, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe. If you haven't, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go follow us on Instagram, on TikTok. And we're continuously throwing out um, uh, content um, every single day. We're trying to throw out different videos. Uh, different clips and um, I also just want to encourage um, I, I, I well first of all I want to thank I want to thank all of our supporters um, if you're uh, uh, support us on patreon thank you so much if you support us you know I know I, there's a few people um, and shout out to you guys that just uh, send us a monthly support man so that we can continue to to shoot this podcast and we can continue to grow and if you say man you know what I love what you're doing I love the content that you're releasing and you'd love to be part of this offbeat podcast and in a way uh, show some support um i'm going to throw up right there some uh, um our venmo uh, or if you want to become a patreon as well i'm going to throw that up there um so that you can become a, a a monthly subscriber and you can support us that way too but thank you guys so much for tuning in this was offbeat podcast let's go let's go